Hey guys, this one is a Visco tutorial. So I'm gonna go over using the Visco app, not just editing images, but all the different features you can use in Visco and how to upload, edit and import videos and photos into Visco as well. I'll link all my other Visco tutorials and playlists in the description below. So definitely check that out if you want more information. But let's get started with how to use Visco. As we get the Visco app opened up, let's first just go into the settings pages so we can get the app set up properly. The way that we do that is go to this smiley face. This is essentially your account and you'll see, I don't have anything on here right now. We don't have a gallery. We don't have any images uploaded. So we'll get onto that later on in the tutorial. Firstly though, you can go to edit your account. So just click on edit. You can change a few things here. You have a profile link. This is the visco.co link with a forward slash and then your profile name. You can share that from here or you can change your profile name really easily. Just press change. Then you can put that in here. I'm happy with mine though. You can fill out all of your details here. Description about you, maybe an external link if you have an Instagram or a YouTube or something. You can also come and change your password down here as well. If we come out of the personal information though, you wanna to come to settings and there's some preferences that you might wanna change. So we will come to preferences right here. You can click launch camera by default. So when you open the Visco app, it's gonna launch the camera for you to take something. You can turn off contact syncing if you want. This just doesn't sync the contacts and friends with your phone. So again, turn that off and on as you wish. As we come out of here, you can set your avatar. So we we'll just click out here and then you can just press on this image. Press this plus button right here. It's then going to make you choose an image. So I'm gonna import that from my camera roll. Just click a selfie of myself, click tick, and then that will be your image. We press the tick button on that one, and then my image is uploaded. Messages will be displayed here as well. You can see that in the top right hand corner. So if you have any messages from other people that you follow, maybe they wanna DM you, or messages from Visco, that will all be in here. But as we come out of here and then we can go to our gallery, you can see I haven't posted anything as yet. We will post some items later on. We'll do that when we go through the studio option, importing images and editing them though. So let's first go over to our feed. This is basically like an Instagram feed. So it's gonna come up with a lot of different creators and images that are popular at the moment. You can do a couple of things here, as you can see. You can repost by pressing that icon. You can also favorite or star this by pressing that icon. You can also undo that. So if I press the like button like this, you can also just press it again and it will undo. It's also easy to follow them here. So you can click on the image itself or on the creator's name. And if you click on the creator's name, it's gonna go through to their profile so you can see their grid and everything that they have. If we just come out of there, you can click on the image itself and it's gonna take you through to the image page with some information underneath. You can follow the creator here again, just by clicking follow. You can see some of the hashtags that are used with this particular image as well. Also, you'll be able to see the filter or the LUT that was used to edit this image in Visco. Visco obviously has a lot of filters and things like that, that's why it's popular. So you can see what the creator used with this image and maybe get some ideas about how to use it yourself. And then underneath are some related images that may have used the same filter to make the image. Also another option is the three dots in the top right hand corner. So if you press those, you've got a few options. You can actually share that image or you can choose more and then your iPhone sharing options are going to pop up. You can share that however you want. I'm not gonna do that for now though. So we just X out of there. If we come back to the main feed page, it's really easy to find people as well. You can come up to the top left-hand corner and there's this kind of icon with a smiley face. So you can press that one and it comes through to people. So you have a few different options. There are suggested, contacts, followers, and following. So if you have any followers, you can see them all here and people that you're following, you can see them all listed here. You can press the plus button to add someone, maybe find someone from Twitter, or you can input their profile name and then search them and add them that way. Searching for people is really great. There's a lot of really amazing suggested people and groups. You can flick through them all here to see which ones you like and you wanna follow. But if we come back to the main feed, we can now go to the Discover tab. So if we press this kind of magnifying glass, it takes us through to Discover and there will be lots of different types of content that you can have a look at. You can search for people, but also photos, videos. There are different montages as well, different hashtags that you can see. People can actually make journal posts on Visco. 
There are challenges as well and just editorial content. You can flick through all of these different areas to follow. So it's not just discovering people, but maybe discovering a hashtag that you wanna follow or a group of people posting about a certain topic. You can flick through all of these. If you like the look of an image like this one, you can click on it, see that image, then it goes through to the page. So you can press follow to follow that creator. And again, you can see what LUT or filter was used to create the image. You can be on here for hours, definitely looking through different challenges, different hashtags, and all the amazing images and journal posts. I'm sure you want to upload and start editing images yourself. So we can come to the studio option. This is the one right in the middle. If you want to use Visco itself to capture images, then it is this icon in the top left-hand corner. So you can press that. Then you'll come through to the capture screen. So you can take a photo real easy, or you can just swipe over to take a video. You can also take a burst as well right here. So this is just gonna take nine images with like a quarter of a second in between. So the more images that you have, maybe the more chance you have of capturing it. But I don't really use that a lot, but it's there for you if you need it. But let's just go back to the photo option and you can see some options here. So you can just take the photo or you can try this icon. These are some kind of weird filters that you might wanna use and you can play around with it. This icon also puts what is kind of like a light ray at the bottom of your image. I don't usually like to use these because it does kind of burn on the filter, which you can put on after the fact, but you might just wanna play around with them, see what works for you. These options up here, you can press this one to add some grids to the image so you can better align your shots. And if you press it once more, you'll get this level so you know that you're taking a level photograph, which I think is pretty useful. You can also switch around the camera by pressing this one and turn off the flash by pressing this one. So overall, it's a pretty simple camera setup, nothing really too major. So let's come out of there and we can also import images that we've taken before the fact with maybe just the stock camera app on the iPhone. If you haven't uploaded anything whatsoever, you can press the import media icon down here or you can press this plus button as well. It's gonna take you through some of your camera roll. So let's say I wanna upload this image. I can just press on that. Then I can come down to the bottom and press import one. And it's gonna do that for me. So your Visco Studio isn't really your timeline. It's just an area and a part of the app that you can upload images to, and you can actually edit them all within Visco. You can see now that I've uploaded this particular image, the options at the bottom come up for me to edit it. So I can press this option down here and it's gonna give me all of the presets and features in Visco that I can use and put on the image. You can go through all of these and see which one works for you. You can press that preset again to bring up the slider bar because maybe you don't want 100% of that preset on your image. So you can press it again, slide it around to the left to take off and to the right to add on. So let's say maybe about this much I wanna add on. 12 would definitely be too much, but three or four or five kind of works. So I can have it there and then press the tick right there and that's gonna add that preset onto my image. You can undo any changes by pressing this option right here and it comes up with the undo options. You can actually change each edit individually, which is really cool, or just press undo and it will take you through the images and all of the options that you'd pressed before. So remember I was flicking through all of the presets. You can undo these. And let's say I wanna go ahead and just edit rather than undo, I can press this one again, either delete it completely or go back to this option. And it's gonna take me back through to this editing menu where I can change it again. So I think that's a really good way of seeing all of your edits and changing them individually. I'm happy with that one, so I press tick. If I want to get rid of this function menu, just press one of the other icons. So I'll press the one on the left to go back to the presets. If you want to edit everything yourself, via slider bars, you can press this icon. You can add text to your image. You can adjust the exposure and the contrast, saturation all here for you. So for example, let's just change the contrast, click on that, slide it to the left to take contrast away, slide it to the right to add contrast on. A Little bit too contrasty for me, so maybe let's say here is okay. I can press the tick button. That is now added onto my edit. If I go and press the undo button like I did before, you'll see that that contrast edit is right there. If I don't like it, I can go and press that and edit this. I'm okay with that though, so I'll just go back to the main filters page. When you're happy with an edit that you've made on an image, you can just press next. Do you wanna save it to your camera roll? And do you want to post it to Visco? I don't want it saved to my camera roll, but I'm happy to post it to Visco. So I'm just gonna add in a hashtag right now. 
I'll say Hong Kong like this. That's fine, so I'm done with that one, press done. So I've added that hashtag, that's fine. So I'm just gonna press post, and then that will be posted onto my timeline as you can see. If I just refresh my feed right now by swiping up, there you have it, you can see that's my first post. So that's my name and I've got this Hong Kong image. So you can just click on my profile right there. And as you can see the gallery just got that one image right there. Then if I go back to my profile right here, journal posts are a little bit different to your gallery. Your gallery is just for every single image that you post. But if you go to journal, you can create a different type of content with multiple images and even images that just have text. So if you press create a journal, you'll go back to your studio where you may have a bunch of different images that you're working on, but as yet haven't published. You can put all of your edits in the studio and that will all be saved for you before you publish it but they will be edited and posted in exactly the same way as the example image that we saw there. If you do wanna to upgrade to Visco Pro or Visco Premium, you can press this option in the right-hand corner. You'll get access to way more editing tools and also filters and presets. You can see them flicking through here. So there's a lot of uh, different video presets and also just a lot of different features in terms of how you can edit your images. So you can definitely start a free trial here or you can go and pay through your Apple account in this option as well. Check out way more photo editing tutorials in the description. I'll link all those there. Subscribe if you haven't for way more as well. That's it for this one though. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.